So, uh, the workshop on uh, mobility as a service, we had um, uh, eight uh, sessions um, devoted to the generic topic of mobility as a service. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, papers, interesting papers. Uh, we learned a lot about uh, the fundamentals of mobility as a service, the sharing aspect, the policy side, the public transport uh, system, uh, satisfaction of uh, using uh, transport modes, um, how uh, sharing autonomous vehicles uh, come under the concept of uh, mobility as a service, and then uh, future uh, directions. We started the first workshop on uh, Monday, where we, have, we had a general discussion on the topic of mobility as a service. Uh, it was quite challenging, our discussion, because uh, this, uh, the term of uh, mobility as a service, the concept of mobility as a service, uh, is a little bit different in Europe and a little bit different in, in the US. So it, was, uh, it took us um, a while uh, to start speaking the same language. And uh, then in the second, second workshop, uh, we uh, reviewed the papers uh, uh, that uh, were presented under the mass uh, sessions, uh, identified the keywords, and uh, then we worked on um, uh, writing some uh, research questions and um, uh, provide some research uh, proposals. In terms of uh, the keywords uh, that uh, were included in uh, the papers presented under uh, the mobility as a service uh, sessions, uh, is uh, ride hailing, mobility on demand, public transport, car sharing, peer-to-peer -peer car sharing, multimodality, and intermo intermodality. And all these are uh, aspects and characteristics of mobility as a service and components. So some key points um, and outcomes of um, our discussions. Uh, we uh, discussed a lot about um, uh, the role that uh, public transport authorities uh, have in different geographical locations, and uh, especially the difference um, between uh, US and uh, Europe because, um, and Asia, because uh, mainly the workshop participants uh, were uh, from um, these continents. And um, uh, in uh, Europe, the mobility as a service uh, concept uh, started because the transport legislation changes. Uh, it has already changed in Finland. And now, from uh, next year, it will be applied to all European countries. And um, the new transport code for Europe will embrace all transport modes to have open APIs. Uh, as such, other uh, actors in the market to be able to sell uh, their services. So against this background, we, the, the mass concept started in, uh, in Europe. Um, so we discussed a lot on the market-driven uh, policies and uh, the authority-driven, uh, market-driven approaches and authority-driven uh, approaches and what is the impact under each one on the transport sector. Uh, then uh, we discussed on uh, the value proposition of uh, mobility as a service, uh, services and co products to the end users. Uh, is this a concept that uh, could um, uh, achieve a more sustainable uh, travel behavior and uh, mode choices? Uh, how these uh, services could be priced or um, what is uh, the willingness uh, of uh, users to pay? Uh, then we discussed also on the supply side of the mobility as a service concept. 
And there are some cities that uh, they have um, a quite uh, a several transport mode uh, alternatives, but uh, there are other cities that uh, they have uh, limited uh, transport options. So what um, uh, concepts can we, or what solutions can we uh, uh, apply in these areas in order to achieve a critical mass uh, for uh, the mass uh, mobility as a service products. Uh, then uh, we discussed on the data aspect. Some of uh, the new mobility services are um, uh, available for uh, more than five years now. And uh, we do not have data about these uh, services. And actually, we do not have revealed preference data about these services. And um, they are usually uh, missing from our mode choice models. And I think this is also a point that uh, was raised in uh, the previous uh, workshop about um, AVs. Uh, so, um, why do we, we do not have this kind uh, uh, of data that uh, will help us to identify what combinations of modes people use and what is the sequence of uh, their activities? And um, based on uh, these uh, outcomes, uh, we have um, uh, three research proposals. Uh, of course, they could be combined all together. And uh, the first research proposal is um, about um, doing a comparison of authority and market-driven uh, cities to identify the impact of these transport approaches on model shift, congestion, data sharing, and of course, um, uh, economy. And uh, then how mass services could contribute to the sustainability strategies of each city. And uh, what is the percentage of the population that uh, should use mass in order to uh, achieve um, uh, reduction in uh, congestion. So in general, let's say that the first topic is on the first research proposal is on um, authorities and uh, policies. The second research proposal is uh, for uh, the supply side, the mobility service providers, and uh, is uh, to investigate what is the added value for transport operators to participate in uh, mass services. Uh, to clarify what happens with uh, the data that uh, is generated through these platforms and who owns the data. If we can provide incentives to transport operators to participate and join uh, mass services. And um, uh, also to investigate why some demonstrations that included collaboration of public and private services for covering the first and last mile were not successful. Uh, there were uh, several um, examples that um, were uh, raised during uh, our discussions uh, that uh, pointed out uh, the failure of uh, this uh, collaboration. So it is also useful to uh, explore why we had these uh, failures and uh, learn from this. And the third proposal, of course, is uh, about um, uh, travel behavior and uh, customers. And uh, is to design uh, what we need, what, uh, uh, how to design mass products to cater for different population group needs and uh, sustainability. So under this uh, generic uh, topic, uh, we have uh, several um, uh, research questions and uh, points that uh, we can um, uh, tackle, like um, uh, what transport mode alternatives uh, could be uh, bundled to offer um, a service that could, be co could compete uh, the um, private car uh, usage. What uh, incentives and uh, persuasive techniques could be included in uh, mass products? Uh, willingness to pay. Of course, how travel behavior will change under different mass products. And um, if um, we can uh, subsidize 
uh, the mass operators and the mass products to cater for uh, low income population um, groups. These were uh, our three uh, research proposals. Of course, there are a lot of other uh, open topics under the mobility as a service uh, concept. Uh, if you are interested and uh, you would like to discuss further, we are happy to discuss with you. So I would like to thank uh, the students uh, who supported us with uh, the workshops and uh, all of you that participated and provided useful insights. Thank you.